I'm inside an unusual factory. It's here to produce mosquitoes and it's capable of producing 100 million mosquitoes per week, 5 billion per year. But why? Why would anyone want to produce more mosquitoes? Hi, I'm Mariana Linharo. I'm a life sciences reporter with Nature's News Team. I'm from Brazil. I grew up there. Mosquito-borne diseases like dengue, zika, and chikungunya are a really big problem. I think nearly all of my family members have gotten dengue at some point, and the symptoms are really bad. High fever, headache, and they can even lead to death. Last year, there were 6.5 million cases of dengue in Brazil, and over 6,000 people died from it. So that's where a mosquito factory comes in, the biggest mosquito factory in the world. Located in the city of Curitiba, that's in the south of Brazil. So when I arrived at the factory, it looked very much like any other biotech facility. Felt very high tech with doors that you have to have face identification. So we're now entering this big room with over 60 human-sized cages of adult mosquitoes. And I'm told that there are 10 million mosquitoes in this room. The surprising thing for me is that I expected it to be very loud, like the buzzing sounds, but the 80s Egypti mosquitoes are actually silent. So the sound that we hear is just like a faint sound of the wings flapping. And like most people on Earth, I hate mosquitoes, especially coming from a place where there's lots of them. And the thought of them escaping crossed my mind, but luckily there wasn't a chance of that really happening. It feels very counterintuitive that people are mass producing mosquitoes in a country that's already infested with them, but these aren't ordinary mosquitoes. They are infected with a bacterium called Wolbachia. This bacterium prevents the mosquito from transmitting viruses like dengue, zika, and chikungunya. By releasing these mosquitoes in cities that are very much affected by these diseases, they will breed with local mosquitoes and the number of infections will significantly drop. But first, of course, you need to actually raise these mosquitoes. And one important food in their diet is blood and they do prefer human blood. But in this factory, they will need 70 liters of blood per week. So the solution that they came up with is using horse blood. But there's some alchemy in there of mixing the horse blood with some human blood to fool the mosquitoes because they still prefer the human product. And they pour this blood in a type of device. That device is placed on top of the cages where they can easily bite it and feed from it. After the blood meal, the females are ready to lay their eggs. So they go to the bottom of the cage where they find these sheets of paper. They are specially designed to receive the eggs. Every single dot you can see in this sheet of paper is an egg. Each of these sheets of paper have thousands of eggs. When the factory is working at full capacity, it will be able to produce one kilo of mosquito eggs per week. That's a lot of eggs. They dust off these eggs and they put them in capsules that are just like medicine capsules. These capsules are the final product of the factory. They are sent to smaller facilities closer to the areas where the mosquitoes will be released. There's already evidence showing that this can have an impact in the real world. 
So in one study they did, the release of mosquitoes was able to reduce by 69% the cases of dengue. So it's a very significant impact and other studies have found similarly positive results. This is why the Brazilian government now sees this as a public health strategy to fight dengue and other mosquito-borne diseases. And so this factory will keep producing billions of mosquitoes every year for the years to come.